Aboard this Boeing 707 jet, there's an RCA Victor portable TV set. Good morning, Blue Troopers. Max Max is Models here. I want to thank everyone who made the live stream. Hope you had a good time. Look forward to doing one next week after JaxCon. So this morning, I got an email from our friend Paul Adams down in New Zealand, and it was about the Park Plastics Company. And it started talking largely about this kit that they may not have put into production uh, about a catapult and the advertisements and comic books that went to help sell this thing. And I was doing a little research on them. It got me curious because I well, at the at Park Plastics, what is about that rings a bell? And I was, oh yeah, they made all those cool toys that we used to play with the kids in the 50s through the 70s. The water-powered rocket that you pumped up with air pressure and the water pistols and a lot. And then and the flying disc, I remember that. Well, when I was just snooping around doing a little research on them, I stumbled onto the fact that they actually did make one kit model airplane. Now, this company was based in Linden, New Jersey, and that, I think, may be actually what triggered the memory of somehow the Park Plastics, Linden, New Jersey, somehow that's ringing a bell. And they did make one kit model airplane that was promotional for RCA. And there was actually a television commercial about the, the RCA portable TVs, which I've found on YouTube, I've copied, and I'm going to put it at the end of this so you can watch it. But... RCA was making its brand new portable TVs back when that was really a thing. We all remember the rabbit ears. And they had a company in France cut a mold for the 707. You would have thought they would have just contracted Airfix or someone. Apparently it was 1 to 180 scale. And from what I could find online or not find online, it's the only 1 to 180 scale kit 707 that was made there's a 1 to 190 scale and a few others but no other 1 to 180s at least not that i could locate and since apparently they were a plastics company or ago they had all the necessary resources to have molds cut they had this seemingly slightly low fidelity model the 707 made which apparently had a retractable landing gear and it came with special decals that were just for them said boeing 707 and rca and it was just to help promote the portable tvs and I thought that was kind of an interesting thing to do. It makes sense. I mean, they were both brand new technologies. Jet airliners had just come out. I believe the commercial was shot in 1959. And the Boeing had just entered service in 57. And now you have these new portable televisions in various screen sizes, which are showing, you know, and we're going to use it from an airplane, a jet in flight. And ooh, look how we're picking up these TV stations while in the stratosphere. They, they even say that in the commercial, as you'll see. And I was thinking, you know, that's actually a very clever tie-in, you know, it's selling the future, you know, portable TVs that can pick up, uh, you know, television stations as you're flying through the sky in real time, ooh, on a jet-powered airliner, ooh, you know, a pressurized metal tube in the stratosphere at seven miles per minute, picking up television signals in glorious black and white. My gosh, we live in the future. You know, we kind of snicker at that now, but that was really impressive. That predated the in-flight live TV and stuff we have now by a good 50 plus years. So uh, kudos to him on that. I only found one of these things for sale on Scalemates and another one on WorthPoint. And this picture of a buildup, which doesn't seem to have the RCA decals, is the only one that claimed to be the promotional made by Park Plastics. So there you have it. I just thought that was an interesting little uh, tidbit of kit model history. And you guys might enjoy that as sort of a Sunday morning wake up with your coffee. Pretty cool. And like I said, I, I think I mentioned, I believe one of the things said that the landing gear was actually retractable, which makes sense because it comes with a stand that says RCA, but it has wheels in the kit. So that stands to reason. Well, anyway, guys, uh, that's what I have for this morning. Uh, lots of things to do today. I'll be doing uh, honeydews for a while and uh, try to get a little model building done and some video making done and starting to work on viewers build 49. Going to start organizing some of the early Vietnam uh, group build stuff and a lot of great models are coming in. If I haven't answered your emails yet, I'm way behind on them. So uh, I'll get to that as quick as I can. I just hope I don't manage to lose anybody's submissions. Anyway, guys, take care of yourselves. We'll talk at you later. And as always, model on. Aboard this Boeing 707 jet, there's an RCA Victor portable TV set.
We asked the Boeing engineers to give it the most difficult test they could. The jet climbed up to the stratosphere, then leveled off at 35,000 feet, 600 miles per hour. Our position, 60 miles southwest of Channel 4, Seattle, Washington. Let's test the portable. There it is, a fine picture. Now, something really tough. Channel 2, Vancouver, Canada, 180 miles north. There we are again. 180 miles from the signal, this RCA Victor delivers. Of course, you won't take a portable on a plane, but think of the picture you'll get in your home, even under difficult reception conditions. New RCA Victor portables, 14, 17, 21 inch overall diagonal picture tubes, as low as $139.95. See them at your RCA Victor dealers.